Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Outdoors with TJ. I'm TJ. Today we got the nephews out. This is Cannon. My name and of is course, William. Liam. Say hi guys. Hi. <laughs> We're out here in northern Oklahoma again. We're out at Sky Took yeah, Sky Took Lake off of Hominy Landing. It is really nice. The the uh weather is kind of cooperated. There was a little bit of shower earlier today, and it's really cooled down today. So we're gonna get out here. With, we've only got maybe an hour, hour and a half left of daylight. So hopefully they're gonna be biting today. I did finally get an upgrade to my stuff. So hopefully if we do catch some fish, I'll be able to get them all on camera as well as Cannon and Liam. Uh, gonna set Liam up. He's got him a little rooster tail today, starting out with. And then I'm probably gonna start out with a wacky rig. Uh, probably move on to the um, spinnerbait. I did pick up some other stuff later or earlier this week um, from Walmart and stuff like that. So hopefully we'll get to catch some fish today and we're going to be finally able to put something on the channel. Uh, we have everything going up at the hunting grounds right now. Uh, we did get some pictures finally. We're getting some does and some fawns in there. We got a picture of Big Mama this morning. Uh, the doe is she is actually gorgeous and huge deer. So if we don't get us a damn trophy buck this year, we're definitely going after Big Mama. But uh, I will try to uh, get those on the channel here lately. Uh, lately, try to get those on the channel up here pretty soon. Uh, probably scroll through and let you guys see them and stuff. Maybe cut a short or something of it. So we're gonna get to it, guys. Got a couple bites on my wacky rig, but haven't really gotten much. It's you know we're losing light fast, so. I'm gonna switch it up to the Ned rig. Like I said, this is, I went and bought some Ned rig hooks at Walmart. And hopefully, cause as, as, the, as you lose the light, you kind of want to make as much noise in the water, you know, with your baits and stuff like that. And these Ned rigs from Guggen Squad, yes. Um, these little Ned rigs here, they have little rattles in the back end. Uh, so, I mean, as it's going across the bottom, this is a bait that you wanna creep across the bottom but you want to make sure that it makes a lot of noise. So with that rattles in there, it really helps make the noise as well as the color. I'm going with a, I think this one's called June Bug or Sprayed Lettuce. I can't remember which, but it is kind of like a blue, black, purple. So, I mean, it is stained water. I'm going more for the uh, sound effect right now. Hopefully that'll get it in there. You just got to, you know, tie it on and then kind of loop it around kind of like a, Pretty much kind of like a, uh, a, not a jig, yeah, a jig, sorry, like a grub jig, like swim tail jig, stuff like that. Uh, you just go all the way around, go over the bait keeper there, and there you go, you're ready to go. And it's got a little weed guard on there. Doesn't make it fully weedless because that can still get caught in rocks, and if it's like thick vegetation, it can kind of get hung up a little bit, but you kind of just want to hop this across the bottom just to see if, you know, there's anything there. Like I said, I was getting a bite a minute ago. So I'm hoping that that fish comes back and we'll find out. Okay, guys, it's been kind of a long day. Well, like I said, we didn't have very much light today anyway. Um, we are probably because we got a little bit of a drive to get back home. So the kids are ready to go home. So we're going to, we didn't, I did have a few bites today, but I'm pretty sure it was just perched, kind of doing some tester bites. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some of these baits. Uh, there's several different types of baits, I realize, and I want to kind of correct myself uh, from my first video because I realized that I was uh, mistaken on a couple of baits. So uh, this is one of my things from my tackle box. This has mostly soft plastics. Uh, i got bullet weights for worm hooks and stuff, you know. These are <clears throat> straight shank. These are four aught worm hooks. Uh, I don't know if you can see that very well. So, and then you've got wide gap hooks. I think these are two aught. Yeah, those are two aught. Uh, those are the only reason I'm using the two aught hooks is because they are they came free with a kit. So, I mean, usually I like using three to four aught hooks. Um, we do have some lunker logs. This is blue and black flake. Uh, oh, no worm hooks. Um, uh, Blue and Black Flake, uh, not only from Guggen, this is from Guggen Squad, but I do have some from in this little uh, bass kit. We got a, uh, this is a wacky rig slash worm rig hook, and it comes with little two-watt hooks, 
Uh, so you can either use it with wacky rings with the O-rings and they come with little single lot hooks right here for those. Pick this up at Walmart for 10 bucks. But of course, as you can see, uh, there is this one looks almost identical, but a little bit more slender. Um, this is the Lunker Log and this is, I cannot remember the brand of this. Uh, but it is a nice little kit. I mean, like I said, and that's another thing I would like to say too. Uh, you can pick up fishing kits. I don't know about mystery. You, if you don't know about mystery tackle box, you can go on there. You can go to carlsbaits.com. I bought a lot of stuff from there. Not only can you buy baits there, but you can buy rods and reels and stuff like that. Timu. I have bought some stuff from Timu. Uh, I know that there's a big thing going on right now is finding a lot of your... Um, like Timu Fishing Challenge, Amazon Fishing Challenge, stuff like that. And we may do one of those once we get a little bit more uh, revenue going on right now. Uh, not sponsored or anything right now, but I mean, I've seen, and people do tend to love those. Uh, oh, let me show you in this, also this kit, it comes with three different worms to use on either hook. So, I mean, there's that. Uh, these, I don't remember, I picked these up at Walmart. These are like a little swirly tail worm. So, I mean, you can swim those or use them on a Texas rig or use them. You can either kind of even uh, cut them off a little bit and use them for uh, the end of spinner baits or something like that. That swirly tail motion is really good. Uh, these are also lunker logs, but these are the four inch where this one is a five inch and i also have the six inch lunker logs uh I have more lunker logs in here uh creature baits this is a bandito bug uh in the sprayed lettuce from guggen squad uh also these are the ned rigs i think i showed you this earlier this there's several different colors like i said and i've showed this in another video uh now these also another creature bait. These are kind of, I think they're supposed to look kind of like a crawfish. Uh, these are not Guggen Squad. I got these in a mystery tackle box, which you can buy at Walmart or on mysterytacklebox.com. Stuff like that. These are little grubs. I think I've showed that before. Uh, it is came in a crappie rig tackle box but we have caught bass on these amazingly enough whenever the bites get slow and you gotta you know you gotta shrink down your uh up here uh whenever you have to shrink down or you know go with a smaller bait um these work really well uh they come in different colors i got uh there's a little kit actually i have on that i think i put them all in here yeah this is mostly our crappie rigs uh the smaller baits but you know and i put it all together but these ones, these size and stuff like that, bass will hit on these and not just small ones. You know, bass will hit on smaller things. It all sometimes depends on the color and what catches their eye and if they're really hungry. So, I mean, uh, most of these in here would be considered crappie jigs, uh, but you know, we've used them. I uh, got a few here from Guggen Squad, but I mean, uh, the crappie bite, we bought, caught a couple of them earlier this year. Also, those we have some other moving baits and you got the also you got the, in here you can also see the jig heads i think i usually go with the quarter ounce uh you can go with the 316 to three ounce uh three eighths ounce uh but i mean i usually go with the quarter that way i can cast it out there pretty far uh, and i know liam really likes the quarter ounce because he can get it out there just as far as almost as i can um more stuff okay i'm going to redeem myself here this is actually the mondo worm not the blazing worm from from guggen squad it's kind of like the swirly tail long tail and these also come in a 10 inch worm i think these are only like seven inch and these are also come like mega pack like 10 inch worms this is the blazing worm has that kind of like little nike swoosh there on the back okay not a nike swoosh but you know it's and it comes through the water a little bit differently it makes a little bit bigger of a wake than this one does than the uh, mondo worm oh here is those six inch lunker logs look at those things huge but big bass small bass medium bass uh then we got some these are swim baits now these work really good uh with you know just putting a hook in it and working it but they also work really well for trailers on um spinner baits chatter baits stuff like that uh bigger presentation these were actually trailers nope yeah these are actually trailers that came with a spinner bait kit that i bought years ago and i don't even remember the brand same with these 
And these are Yamamoto's. They're black and blue, but you peel the tail back a little bit, and it kind of looks kind of like that blazing worm a little bit. But those are really good. I've caught a couple fish on those this year. But so far, you know, it's been a hard summer. Me and Liam were talking about that a little bit ago, you know. Uh, just this is just more soft plastics more uh, blazing worms and stuff like that bunker dogs. I'm pretty pretty uh, Straightforward when it comes to plastics now one thing that I have added this year besides the the blazing worms and mondo worms and stuff one thing that I did add in here are you know, these are just regular little uh, worms, but I did add lizards now these are Lizards I think these are little four inch lizards. These are, and you usually swim these like a Texas rig. You Texas rig it up. I got several, couple different kinds. Oh, those are some trailers. Um, I got like three or four different kinds. This one here, I think these are uh, yums, uh, but I did go to Guggen Squad and pick up their slizzard. And they are really nice looking. Uh, have not really used them much this year. So, I mean, gonna have to try to work those uh i didn't find out about those until about a month ago so probably gonna try to get working those for too long uh we do have some rooster tails as you can see this is an ozark trail it's walmart brand uh most of these are kind of the same these are uh willow vibes these are like swim that's what you would put your paddle tails on and stuff like that it's got a little blade on it so that would really help that out we also have a rooster tail this is by wardens uh either one of these i get them usually in a quarter ounce um and these are listed as crappie jigs <laughs> but i have caught so many bass on these you would not believe how many bass i have caught on these it's it's awesome uh we do have some moving baits and stuff there's another rooster tail let's see what else do i have Oh, and we got us a new spinnerbait. Now, this is Strike King. I haven't got to use it yet, as you've seen. Liam has a Strike King one. Mine's a little bit bigger than his, but he's been putting his on today right here, and he threw it around. But like I said, we didn't really get a chance really much to use it, uh, but we've been buying up different brands. This is a Strike King. Uh, swims really great. It's a double-bladed one with a little Colorado blade and one willow blade. Uh, the last thing I tried to do was the Ned rig. Did get a couple bites, but it didn't pan out. A uh, couple of hard baits that I have recently bought or have had and I love. Now this is the blooper right here by Guggen Squad. I honestly, first year I've ever tried one of those. I uh, haven't got to fish with it much since we haven't gotten out much here lately. Uh, this, this week, we haven't gotten out much, so. Uh, but I will show you one that I live and swear by. If I can find it. That is the rattle trap. This was a different one. This one's by Mus Mustad. Or Moostad. Triple grip hooks. A little quarter ounce. Uh, they come bigger than that, too. Uh, not much bigger. I think a three eighths ounce, a little bit bigger than that. This one's a quarter ounce. Uh, this one's in like a shad colored, but it's got a little spinner back here. So I saw it in Walmart, wanted to try it real bad. Uh, of course, we have the Grande Clutch. My bread and butter. Love this thing. Uh, I have three or four different colors of this. I love the gold. I, this is the first time I've actually bought Sexy Shad. Um, because I know that whenever the water clarity is a lot better, you want it like natural colors. Uh, but the, I have a red one and I know I have the gold one. The gold one has caught me so many fish in the past. I love the rattle traps. You can't go wrong with a rattle trap. Uh, lipless crankbait or even a diving square bill is not that bad. Uh, this is more of my swim jigs. Of course you got the the Filthy Frog from Guggen Squad. I also have the Popping Filthy Frog, which has a little bit different. It looks like a uh, like the blooper has that blooper in at the front of it. Uh, I'm not really tried much top water. Um, I'm going to later. These are more trailers. Also, this is from Lunker Hut. It's a spider, and actually, <laughs> I've seen people catch a lot of fish on those. Haven't really tried it yet. Um, these are just little little grub creature baits and stuff like that 
but this is uh, Explode Toad from Guggen Squad. It came with a kit. Uh, you can put that as a trailer, but it, it's heavy enough to be used just on regular line. Then you've got, this is a football jig. I don't know if you can see that very well, but this is one type of jig. I think this one, this is a half ounce jig. Usually I get like three eighths to a half ounce uh, on these. I have several different kinds. This one's you know, just regular. Here's another, another type right here uh, and then you've got well, of course you've got like your football jig we kind of look at the head of it here kind of has a football head to it but these are without a doubt you kind of pop those across the bottom get you a good trailer on it and I swear they're gonna catch you a big bass amazingly enough they, they love to catch bass and again like I was talking about with the uh, rooster tails but here's the other rattle trap lipless crankbait another grande clutch they call it the clutch there's the fucking filthy frog right there and i've got a knot no oh, oh no the, the, the froggy there it goes okay all right but then you've got these little i've got several different kind of square bills these only dive this is by guggen squad i can't remember exactly what that one's called uh and then you've got this one i don't even remember where this one's come from i think i got it in a mystery tackle box and it works pretty good. They dive only like two to five feet, depending on how fast you reel and how deep the water is. You can kind of manipulate it a little bit. Then I've got chatterbaits. I've got three different kind of chatterbaits. These are the ones from Guggen Squad that they just came out with this year. Uh, fished that a couple times. Haven't gotten much luck on it just yet. But as I've said before, this summer has been brutal for fishing. Uh, I know we see a ton of people other parts of the country that are catching tons of fish, and I, we just can't seem to get on any good fish. We catch one here and there, but you know we're not going to give up. Like I said, and as we go later in the year and it starts to cool down, probably the bites will pick up. Um, I got a few topwater baits and some swim baits, but I'll kind of show those to you here real quick. Uh, these are jerk baits and topwater baits. They're all mixed different kinds. These are the baby bull shads. Now I've seen I got two different kinds here. One's more of a natural shad, and this one's kind of like that sexy shad color. Uh, I have seen people catch big bass on those and catch just bass in general. Uh, I haven't got to use them. I, as much as they cost, I don't really like to cast them in around this close cover like that because I'm afraid of snagging them. <laughs> Plus, I mean, I, I want to, and I will, uh, hopefully in a future video, I'll, I'll cast one out there and I'll let you guys see me. Hopefully I'll catch a fish on it. But the one thing about it is, is uh, we, we were talking about this earlier. We're not so sure if, you know, uh, like if we maybe had a boat or we got it like a wade, wade out in the water or something like that and fish from, fish back towards the bank because a lot of times the fish, uh, I, I've, I've heard it before, not 100% sure if it's true or not, but fishing from the shore, coming back to the shore, usually fish come to the shore and like bait fish, shad and bluegill and stuff like that, and then they go back out. And I've heard you get more strikes fishing from like the middle of water, fishing towards the bank. And then as it as you're pulling it back away from the bank, like a natural, like the fish would go away from the bank back out into the main part of the water, that's when uh, the strikes happen. Uh, I heard you're more successful doing it that way, but currently right now I only have a small little boat and I know where to put it. So I don't have, you know, I, I, and it's only got a little trolling motor on it and, uh, we still have to get Liam a, you know, life vest in order for us to take that out. Hopefully we'll get that all rigged up. That way we can get that done and, uh, do some stuff that way. And that way I can get out in this water. Cause this would be a perfect area to get out and get in between these trees and stuff. You know, my boat motor wouldn't be too far in the water. I could maneuver in between these trees and probably catch some more fish. Uh, we could even go out a little bit further out into this cove, get a little bit deeper, and that way we could actually start catching some fish. I'm gonna be looking into that real soon. Hopefully we get some more stuff going on. We got some stuff coming up on the, you know, hunting front. You know, we got some deer camera picks, uh, just does at the moment, but I will get those up and kind of show you, all right? Have a good one, guys. Like and subscribe. If you want to know anything, let me know in the comments. Ask me any question, and I will find out.